Yeah, sorry. Um, oh, let me see. I said, um, right. So the thing about it is there are millions and billions of sensors, light-based sensors that are all over this. Like, I don't think they're just light-based. Sensors. Maybe they, they also transmit sound, too. But there are sensors all over the, the world. Like, like especially in smart cities. Smart cities, the sensors are the worst. Because, you know, they're a smart city. Everything is basically being, you know, basically um, fast forwarded to, 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 you know, push us even deeper into this, um, you know, this new um, industrial revelation, uh, revolution, what is it? Uh, like a fourth industrial revolution or the technological revolution. You know, the internet of everything, everything's being uploaded to the internet or everything's going to be controlled by the internet or artificial intelligence, including human beings. So it's like every major city, every like large, largely populated city is probably, probably has a, you know, a, a, like a smorgasbord or it's like a, it's like a swarm of sensors and the, like, I'm going to tell you this. If it's used properly, I could understand why there's a need for this. You know, like like actual, actual, like trying to, you know, stop and prevent, you know, crimes or, or terrorist attacks, things of that sort. I could understand the use of it. But what these people are doing, these people are not, they're not doing this for the good of humanity. They're not doing this for the good of, of nothing, actually. It's all about power, control, and, well, entertainment, really. Because, I mean, why live stream broadcast someone being tormented? There's, there's entertainment in that. There's entertainment and then there's money. And then... Speaking of the the handlers in particular, or at least the four hosts that had hacked my nervous system, these are four people that, that grew up in environments that I know very, very well. I know these environments very well. And the energy that breeds in these environments. These are four people. They're probably be younger than the age of 30. They're, they're probably younger than I am. They're tech savvy, but they have that. But they're too arrogant. They're tech savvy, but they're arrogant. They probably went to school, studied some things, probably even joined the military. They probably gained access um, to some to some special program or whatever, so that they can basically, you know, learn you know um, spectrum warfare or something like that. Then on top of that, they probably got approached by you know, some secret society member or something like that and was like, would you like to be, you know, a a handler and control people in your, your city or your community, something like that. And then for somebody that young and probably don't even, probably haven't even mastered controlling their own selves, they basically jumped at the opportunity. Why? Because... If you have been, if you have never been able to get over being bullied or never been able to get over um, moments of feeling inadequate with your own life, you're going to jump at this opportunity and you're going to think it's the most amazing thing possible. Matter of fact, the first time that he probably hacked someone's body and then started transmitting um pain frequencies or, or whatever into that person and, and seeing the reaction he probably got a heart on like he probably you know um well there's two guys there's two guys and two women um and like i tell people my my targeting started um or at least it became more prevalent when uh when i moved to the bronx um because, I mean, sure, I think I was okay when I was... I think I was doing all right when I was living here in Brooklyn. You know, then all of a sudden when I moved to the Bronx, I don't know what happened, but... Um, yeah. And I keep I keep trying to tell myself I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I'm not going to 
feel bad for, for um, you know, trying to get my own first apartment or anything like that. I'm not going to feel bad for that. I didn't know I was being set up. But, um, but apparently, based on what they're saying is, oh, this is all mandatory. This is mandatory. You got to, um, you got to do what we tell you. You know, there's no, there's no way out. You know, um, what else? I don't know, they, they were saying all these different things to just make it, basically make it seem like, you know, there's nothing that you can do. You might as well just give up. Um, yeah, I believe in God, so, and none of this that's happening seems like God wanted humanity to do any of it. And the last I, I checked, just about every, just about most, most civilizations... Prior to, let's say, um, prior to, well, I, I don't know, most most ancient civilizations that happen to be, probably be even more advanced than we are today, a lot of them were destroyed, like, <clears throat> like, literally destroyed, like, I mean, you, we are barely finding the remains of all the past civilizations that have lived before us. That's how bad God was like, nah, we need to reset <laughs> all of humanity. We need to wipe the slate clean and bury all this, all this, and make sure none of the future generations find them. But eventually, you know, life life is in cycles. You know, um, so we're basically in that, that period where, you know, we're abusing knowledge that we're not supposed to have. We're at that point. So now that we're we're at that point where we're abusing knowledge that we weren't supposed to have, now we're basically just trying to find who are the true godly human beings that are still here, and we need to get together. And 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 one thing that stands out to me is we're gonna have to like all of us are gonna have to learn how to go back to some old school ways of living. And, um, you know, it was interesting, um, was, it was even more interesting. Uh, I had just rewatched the pilot episode of Dark Angel. You remember Dark Angel? Um, it used to come on WB, um, was it WB or UPN? I think it was WB. And, uh, Jessica Alba was the main star. Basically, it was about, like, um, this young girl who was basically trained to be, like, a I guess like a government spy, you know, killer or something like that. But she escaped and then, you know, somewhere in the future, <laughs> the show came out in 2000. It was like October of 2000. <laughs> they was like in the future now uh, and like in the show's present day, it was 2019. And they said, and she has this line where she's like, after the EMP attack, uh, well, no, she said something along the lines like everyone... Every, there was so much money, there was so much money all around and everything went digital. But then after the EMP attack, well, everyone went broke. <laughs> and I and I just be thinking about it and I'm like, yo, what if that's like, <laughs> what if that's like the real, that's the real plan right there. You see how they're trying to push everything into digital? Like notice how they're trying to push everything into digital right now mind you let's say if they push everything into digital you know finances you know um most records because most people aren't saving paper copies of records anymore everything is moving digital if an emp attack were to be launched over you know at a certain altitude over a certain over you know specific continents or countries or whatever and an emp attack is unleashed um one thing i know for certain all of this damn nanotech that's flown in the air it's done i would believe so because once that pulse once that pulse flows through the airway all the nanotechnology that they're basically using to assist them with the uh, manipulations of our nervous system it's done um, I mean, think about it. The nano, the anti nano bucket that, um, if you ever seen Tony Pentaresco build, um, I haven't, 
I need to build that thing up. Um, but I've been getting too distracted. Um, and then now with this whole thing with, you know, with my, my ex, my <laughs> ex second time at this point. Um, and, you know, I'm at a, I'm at a phase, I'm at a point in my life where I cannot be distracted because, um, yeah, I completely understand some TIs when they say, well, I don't know if I could date somebody who hasn't been targeted for a while because then they, because they're still fresh, they're still fresh in it. They still haven't quite come to terms with certain things yet. And um, I might not be all that, you know, let's say book smart or whatever. Like I'm, I'm like a jack of all trades. Like I know a little bit about almost anything, right? But I'm no expert at. I'm no, I'm no real expert at anything really. I just know a little bit about everything. But well, if anything, I might be an expert at is understanding um, um, spiritual energy or emotional energy if you want to call it that too um and i have mastered quite a bit of an understanding when it comes to how this technology interferes with our energy and um it's horrendous it's truly horrendous and to be to be honest and um May God forgive me for this, but anybody, anybody doing this to anybody, like, I don't even think, I don't even think prisoners deserve what's happening to TIs, but, you know, like, like, legit, you know, you did the crime type prisoners. I don't even think they deserve this because this is basically like, you know, this is almost like having, like, Gitmo prisoners. It's like it's like we're being it's like we're Gitmo prisoners, but we're just able to walk around. You know, because that's what it is. It's like being a it's like being a free, like a free range slave, or a free range prisoner. That's basically what it is. And the people who are actually doing this to the TIs, they're the ones who actually should be in prison. They're the ones who actually should be. Um, Hell, they're the ones who actually should be on the receiving end of this. But you know what? I was just listening to Proverbs um, earlier this morning, and I remember hearing something along the lines of, um, or a paraphrase, and um, those who kill by the sword shall be, those who, those who, what was it? it something along the lines of like, those who um those who shed blood of the sword shall be killed with the sword or something like that and i'm just like well if every country or every first world country is racing to develop their advances in this technology and how to you know further weaponize you know light based you know frequencies or sound based frequencies all these directed energy weapons and stuff like that then what what kind of seems like is going to happen is if they don't end up killing all the TIs first before before it all happens, right? These countries are going to end up killing their own populations. They're going to be hacking each other's populations. And um, that's the one thing I've been kind of wondering is what prevents someone else from hacking someone who was already hacked? Do they have a firewall? Like, and it's, and it's a cloud-based server. So it's like, if it's a cloud-based server, then that means it can be found somehow. Just got to know where to find the cloud. Now, if you find the cloud, how do you get into the cloud? How do other people gain access to the cloud? Do they have like a username and a password? Or... You know, is it just like, I don't know, like these people are already augmented. So they just, I guess they just, their brain is already operating like a computer. So they just basically think 
a menu pops up and they just basically go through certain i don't know i don't know what they're seeing you know i'm not i guess fully augmented because i don't i don't well i don't see i don't see things or hear things all i basically get our trans voice transmissions and then when i go to like that not so sleep but sleep that kind of half sleep i get the the dream manipulation but that's that's all i pretty much get um as far as you know talking about visuals or hearing and anything like that i don't hear demons i don't you know i'm not saying the devil did this or whatever the devil, the devil was employing all of these people. The devil has employed all these people. Why? Because the devil always creates a problem. Or the devil sees you have a problem and then offers you something that you would want. Not something you need, but the devil will offer you something that you would want. And then offer you that thing with some type of string attached to it. So... And as, as I'm making this video, I'm not only hearing the V2K, but I'm hearing the surrounding gang stalkers basically um, carry out conversations um, based on the things that I'm saying because they're listening intentively. And you know what? Um, yeah, they turned up the they turned up the I guess the amplification or the the power behind the frequency that's like it's like it's like all right here so i can grab here and squeeze between my thumb and index finger, right and it's like a it's it's like a frequency here and it's going straight into the cerebellum and it's like I don't even know how to really describe it. It's like, it's like imagine someone taking a very violent vibrator, right? Not like, not like the sexual vibrator, but like, like some, some type of like thing, like some type of device and they just place it on the back of your head, right? And then they just turned it on, like turned it on like medium, like low, medium, high, whatever. And then they just don't turn it off. Like, it's still vibrating. Right? It's vibrating, vibrating. And then you feel the heat build up. After you feel the heat build up, next thing you know, there's pressure. You start feeling this pressure build up inside of your skull. Like, inside of your cranium, you feel this pressure build up. After you feel the heat and after you notice the vibrations... My only thing is, is like, I don't want to leave this earth not knowing I did everything that I could to try to expose what is happening. I could care less what actually happens to me, but I don't want to leave this earth not knowing that I tried everything I could to expose what is happening. Now, mind you, I get it. You know, there's been people, you know, who's been trying to do everything they could for like, 10, 15, 20 years, but I'm just like, mm, nah, I just came on the scene two years ago. I'm like, it gotta be something I could do, you know, without creating an event where that leads me to get shot because I'm trying to like, because I'm trying to get attention for, for target individuals. I'm not trying to become a Myron May or Aaron Alexis or, or, or anyone else who was basically being tormented with this technology and then they basically just couldn't take it anymore. You know, um... And I'm just thinking to myself, why would you give people who are already violent access to such powerful weapons? That's how I know, like, I had to look at this from a, from, from a not so scientific aspect. And I had to look at it as, from a spiritual aspect at, at some point. Because it's like most people who are, who are basically operating this technology, 
They are already violent people. They are already angry people. They're already frustrated. They're already feeling, they're already overcoming moments of inadequacy because, I mean, you wouldn't necessarily need to be doing this unless you couldn't get over feeling feelings or, or, or you know, moments of inadequacy in your life. Um, because, I mean, I could see, I could see how by becoming a handler, that feeling of inadequacy, it basically erodes away because why? You get to control someone who thinks they're more adequate than you are. Or you are projecting that they think that they're more adequate than you are. I don't know. But it's like, It's like this is this is this is hell on earth basically. It's it's literally hell on earth. It's like imagine 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 demons <laughs> no longer just have you being able to, you know, use like pitchforks and, and you know, knives or whatever and to, to be able to cut you up. Instead, now they could just sit cross their legs and sit at a laptop or something and just well, watch what I'm gonna make them do. Send, Boop. resonate. Oh, now all of a sudden, people are being like tormented wherever they go. 